Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, the podcast that helps you find the words you need to connect to your Father in Heaven. Whatever is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. After a brief message from one of our sponsors, we will continue with today's verse. A Prayer for When Storms Arise Written and read by Kyle Norman A furious squall came up and waves broke over the boat so that it was swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said, Teacher, do you not care if we perish? Mark chapter 4, verses 37 and 38. When was the last time that you were in a storm? Did you enjoy it? Did you find it inspiring or beautiful? I doubt it. When you're inside, watching a storm from the safety of your living room, storms can be fun to watch. They can feel magnificent and awesome. But when you are caught in the middle of a storm, well, that's a whole other matter. Whether you're walking along a roadway, driving in your car with your windshield wipers, struggling to keep up with the rain, or stuck in a boat in the middle of a lake, well, then storms feel threatening and overbearing. The disciples experience this very thing. Jesus had been teaching beside Lake Gennesaret for hours. As night approached, Jesus invited the disciples to journey with him to the other side of the lake. They welcomed this invitation. Not only was it a rest from the demands of ministry, but finally they would be able to spend some alone time with Jesus. As they sail across the lake, Jesus, tired from a day of teaching and healing, falls asleep in the stern. This wouldn't have been a problem, except for a storm that erupts around them. Now let's not downplay this scene. The storm wasn't gentle or understated. The wind didn't just blow a bit beyond their comfort, and the waves weren't just, quote, a little choppy. No, this was an intense and almost violent storm. Waves crashed over the sides of the boat, and the wind howled around them. The disciples had to struggle just to keep the boat steady. And through it all, Jesus slept. Now, we don't know how long the disciples struggled with this storm for, or how long Jesus was left sleeping during it all. But we do know that at one point, the disciples began to feel abandoned by their Lord. They felt that they were facing the storm all alone. And so they wake Jesus and say, Teacher, don't you care that we are perishing? Jesus, aren't you concerned at all about what we're facing? Jesus, don't you care about us? Have you ever echoed such statements? I'm sure that in some way we all have. It's natural to question where Christ's power is when the storms of life erupt against us. Now, maybe it's a diagnosis, maybe it's a job loss a relational breakdown, or something else altogether. But when such storms occur, we can find ourselves struggling just to exist in the moment. All our energy, all our resolve, and all our faith is spent trying to avoid being swallowed up by the storm that blows hard against us. If you've ever been in such a storm, and have found these questions going through your mind, don't condemn yourself. You're just doing what all disciples do from time to time. But try to remember that beyond the fear of the storm, Jesus remains. Jesus is asleep, not because he is unconcerned about the disciples, but because he is unconcerned about the storm. The Lord of life remains in the boat. And because Jesus is with us, we can be confident that there is no wind strong enough to blow us off course. There is no wave big enough that will drown out the Lord's presence. 
What the disciples perceived as divine rejection was actually steadfast resilience rooted in Christ's presence. Now, as the event progresses, Jesus calms the wind and waves by a single command. But he quiets the waves not to prove that he can make the storm go away, but to show that he can be trusted when the storm seems to remain. Jesus proves that his presence is what we need for any storm that we experience. True, Jesus might not stop the storms from coming upon us. Winds may blow and waves may crash, and that can be difficult to experience. But Jesus remains in the storm-riddled boat just alongside of us. Given that, we have a choice as to what we focus on. We can focus on the wind and the waves and the furious squall that erupts around us, or we can focus on the presence of the Lord. And while we may not always see what he's up to, the fact that he is in the boat with us makes all the difference. Let us pray. Gracious God, our protector, our defender, and our savior, storms can so often rage about us and cause us to be afraid. Without warning, they erupt over us and they cause us to fear. Lord, protect me from despair. Deliver me from all my fear. I pray that you strengthen my resolve to stand in your presence during the storms of my life. Preserve me from unbelief and strengthen my faith. And Lord, in those times when I am tempted to question your presence or your activity, open my eyes to see you and open my heart to receive your calm. This I pray through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.